Hi everybody and welcome to today's Faith Moments. So I'm in this period of Lent and I'm reading my own Bible reflections at the moment. But I want to share with you something that really caught my heart from um, a passage that's just as we enter into Palm Sunday. And it comes where Jesus is traveling towards Jerusalem and he is encountered, he encounters a man. Let me just try and get the screen up, I can't quite see it. There we go. And I called it Making Jesus Stop. I'll tell the story first and then I'll share what was on my heart. So what is it that makes Jesus stop when he's on a journey? Jesus and his disciples, this is um, from Mark's gospel, they're just heading into Jerusalem for the triumphal entry. They came to Jerusalem as he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho. Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. So here we have Jesus and his disciples on a journey. They've got a mission. They've got things they need to do. Jesus is heading towards the cross. He knows where he's going. And as they're traveling, there's a large crowd, lots of people, lots of noise. But there's a man sitting by the roadside, a blind man, Bartimaeus. And when Bartimaeus heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. This man is crying out for his life. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly. Son of David, have mercy on me. Can you imagine the desperation of this man? He's blind. There's nothing he can do. He can't help himself. But he's heard there's somebody that can help him. And here he's shouting out. And he won't be silenced. He won't let them tell him. He's shouting. And this is the verse that got me. Jesus stood still and said, call him here. Jesus stood still. Jesus is on a mission. He's on a journey. He has a focus. He has a purpose. But somebody shouts loud enough, even in the midst of a crowd. Somebody shouts with desperation for a need. And Jesus stood still and said, call him here. And the thought on my mind is, Lord, what does it take to make you stand still? What sort of prayer is a cry that's loud enough, desperate enough to make you stand still and to answer, to get the picture? It wasn't posh words, it wasn't formulated, it wasn't anything. It was a cry from the heart of desperation. A cry that there was no other alternative. A cry that nobody else could answer. Bartimaeus cried out and he would not be silenced. He took the moment, the opportunity, as Jesus passed by. And in the midst of the noise and the crowd, Jesus heard and stood still and said, call him here. And when I came to this verse, I said, Lord, are my prayers desperate enough? Are my prayers calling out enough where there's no other option? Are my prayers the sort of prayers that will arrest you, Jesus, and make you stand still? Are those the sort of prayers that I'm praying? And if I'm honest, I'm not sure they are. But that's the picture. When someone is desperate enough to cry out and not be silenced, Jesus stood still and said, call him here. And we know the end of the story. They called the blind man, said to him, take heart, get up, he's calling you. They've really changed their hearts here, haven't they? They're telling him to shut up, and now they're telling him to call. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, go, your faith has made you well. Immediately, he regained his sight and followed him on the way. That's the verse. Jesus stood still and said, call him here. The challenge to myself was, Lord, are my prayers 
the prayers of no other option, the prayers of desperation, of reality, of truth, where nobody will silence me. And my prayers, the sort of prayers that will arrest you and make you stand still and answer. That was my question to myself. It's my question to you. Are your prayers the sorts of prayers that will arrest Jesus and make him stand still to answer? Let's just take a moment as you ask that question of yourself. How are you praying? Are you making Jesus stand still to answer? Just take a moment to pray. And I'm going to pray for us. Lord Jesus, help us to cry out to you in reality, in truth, in desperation, in love. And may we begin to pray the prayers that arrest you and make you stand still to answer. And thank you so much that you showed us how you did that with one man, blind Bartimaeus. Amen. I was challenged. I hope you're challenged by that. God bless you and God keep you.